specialty brushes. See, I have a whole bunch of brush from small to large. And uh, today I'm going to show the feather brush. And, uh, and here's my water container. I use a vase as a water container. Um, it's very important, whatever you use as a water container, don't fill in the water to fall. Um, so about, um, about two thirds of the uh, jar will be enough. So this way, when you wash a brush, you, the handle is not getting wet or too much, you know, water. When you load the brush, it will get too much water. So you need to control from there the, the amount of water in the brush. Okay. And uh, always wet, uh, soak the brush first before you load. Okay. And uh, you can use paper towel to control the amount of water. Okay, I'm uh, what uh, subject matter is good for this brush? It's a, it's a feather brush, so I'm going to do a bird. Always load the brush in gradation from light to dark. So I loaded the brush with light blue gray, then a little bit ink to the front. And uh, I use only a little ink, like, you know, a little bit ink. And I always try to finish the ink every time when you, when you um, finish the picture. So don't put too much ink in the palette. I do have ink stone, but I barely use it. It's, it's uh, only for uh, like calligraphy when you use a lot of ink. In painting, I use little ink, like a Chinese uh, um, art theory it says to treat ink like gold. So you need to save, um, you know, very, use ink very economically. I'm going to start painting a blue heron. My favorite subject matter is also the best to begin learning this uh, media, the uh, brush painting.
Okay, that's all.